Hey Money Athletes, we're back. My name is Lauren and this is Erica. And we believe that everybody should be able to understand some of the readings. If you sit through church and have no idea what's going on, this we create for you. summary. So we're, we're still in Mark chapter 10. Um, in this gospel reading, there's a blind man sitting in the street that Jesus is walking down. And the blind man figures out that Jesus is near him. So he starts to yell, Jesus, have pity on me. Jesus, come over here. And he's yelling and he's yelling. And everyone else in the crowd is like, shh, be quiet. <laughs> he's not going to stop for you. And he just keeps yelling. And he has faith and he does not give up. And Jesus finally says, come on over here. So the, the blind man jumps up, throws off his cloak and runs to Jesus. And Jesus says, what do you want from me? And the um, blind man says he wants to see again. And Jesus says, your faith has saved you. And the blind man was able to see. So that was awesome. But what does that mean? <laughs> no, I kind of was, when you first read it, I was like, hmm, well, I'm not physically blind. I don't have yeah. any physical ailments that I want to be healed from. But then I realized I am blind. Yeah, we don't know what's ahead of us or what's meant for us out there. But if we have that faith that God will let us see that in time and just keep going to him and yelling and screaming out for God to direct us, we'll be able to see our path. Right. So even if we don't know what's coming or if we're blinded, by anything if we can't see. Any situation. I'm thinking of college or people trying to figure out where they want to go to college. Like we went through that. We couldn't see, but we just kind of had that faith that God would guide us. And show us the way. All right, so we got some questions for you guys to take away from this and apply to your life. So what's coming up in your life that you feel blinded by? Maybe it's life after college, life after high school, any kind of situation that you can't see what's coming and you feel scared or nervous or anxious or you feel stuck like you don't know what's coming next. Um, Just to call out to God and know that he has a plan for each and every one of you. You're going to get through this and we're going to go down the path that mm -hmm. he has planned for us whether we want to or not and it's going to be good and everything works out for your benefit. Yes, so have that faith like the blind man had. Call out to Jesus. Ask him to show you the way and open your eyes. Yes, sis. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We hope we could help you apply this to your life and understand the readings a little bit better. If you liked it, give us that thumbs up, comment, or maybe even subscribe to our YouTube channel. Until then, we will see you guys soon.